Good morning. This morning we're picking up in the Gospel of John chapter 7. Should be really good. Well, not should be, it will be. It's all good. So Lord, we invite your presence as we begin this morning to read and pray and then go back and sing through your word. Holy Spirit, we invite you to fill this place. Who's ever watching, just touch them right where they are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. song we could ever sing worthy of all the praise we could ever bring worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live for you Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one that could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. And hold. There is no one like you, there is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around. Every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Jesus Jesus, the only one of every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. And hold. There is no one like you, there is none beside you, open up my eyes in wonder and show
thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we invite you to speak to us as we look at part of John chapter 7. Lord, we ask that you would be our teacher this morning and speak to us, even as we just read and pray and then go back and sing. Holy Spirit, give us revelation. Lord, we want to know you more. We love your word, God. We love you who your word reveals. And we ask that we would have an encounter with you. Lord, that we would just set aside thoughts right now and just focus on you. Holy Spirit, give us grace to focus on you, on your word. So we're going to look at the first 24 verses of John chapter 7. I'm going to read and pray through them, and then we're going to go back and sing them. John chapter 7, verse 1. After these things, Jesus was walking in Galilee, for he was unwilling to walk in Judea because the Jews were seeking to kill him. And so, Lord, even at the start, we ask that you would put us in the story. Lord, I ask that we would feel your emotion, that we would not just read these words, but that we could actually see you walking in Galilee. knowing that the Jews in Judea were seeking to kill you and just avoiding that. Lord, what was going through your heart? In the heart of your disciples, they knew this, Lord. So just take us in the story. Now the feast of the Jews, the feast of booths was near. Therefore his brother said to him, leave here and go into Judea so that your disciples also may see your works which you are doing. For no one does anything in secret when he himself seeks to be known publicly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers were believing in him. Lord, just on a human level, that just seems like such a thing brothers would say. Go and show yourself. If you're real, go let the world see you. They weren't believing in him. So Jesus said to them, my time is not yet here, but your time is always opportune. So Lord, give us revelation. Jesus, why did you say these things you're saying here? in this part of your story. My time is not yet here, but your time is always opportune. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify of it, that its deeds are evil. Go up to the feast yourselves. I do not go up to this feast because my time has not yet fully come. Having said these things to them, he stayed in Galilee. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he himself went also up, not publicly, but as if in secret. So Lord, we ask for insight. We ask for revelation. Father, teach us your word. So the Jews were seeking him at the feast and were saying, where is he? There was much grumbling among the crowds concerning him. Some were saying, he is a good man. Others were saying, no, on the contrary, he leads the people astray. It's the same today. Lord, things don't change much. He is a good man. No, he leads the people astray. Yet no one was speaking openly of him for fear of the Jews. That's the same today too. Fear of man, fear of persecution, fear of whatever. Lord, would you break this off of us, even in our day, Lord, break it off. They weren't speaking openly of him for fear of the Jews. But when it was now the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews then were astonished saying, how has this man become learned having never been educated. The 
Lord, I wonder what you were saying that day that these religious leaders would know that you've been learned, as this says. How has this man become learned, having never been educated? So Jesus answered them and said, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. If anyone is willing to do his will, he will know of the teaching, whether it is of God or whether I speak from myself. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory, but he who is seeking the glory of the one who sent him, he is true and there is no unrighteousness in him. Did not Moses give you the law and yet none of you carries out the law? Why do you seek to kill me? Lord, I love you so much. Lord, you just speak the truth. You tell it like it is. You knew they were seeking to kill you, and yet you tell them that not one of you carries out the law. Why do you seek to kill me? The crowd answered, you have a demon. Who seeks to kill you? and saying to the Son of God, you have a demon. Jesus answered them, I did one deed and you all marvel. For this reason, Moses has given you circumcision, not because it is from Moses, but from the fathers. And on the Sabbath, you circumcise a man if a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath so that the law of Moses will not be broken, are you angry with me because I made an entire man well on the Sabbath? Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. Lord, we ask you for this righteous judgment. We ask that you would cause us to never judge according to appearance, but to judge with righteous judgment. That we would not judge according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Lord, give us eyes to see what you see. Give us discernment, God. And as we go back to chapter 7, verse 1, and sing these words back to you, Will you fill us with revelation? John 7, 1. After these things, Jesus was walking in Galilee, for he was unwilling to walk in Judea because the Jews were seeking to kill him. Now the feast of the Jews, the feast of booths, was near. Therefore his brothers said to him, Leave here and go into Judea, so that your disciples also may see your works which you are doing. For no one does anything in secret when he himself seeks to be known publicly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers were believing in him.
testify of it that its deeds are evil Lord you said this these are your words and as it was then it is now the world hates you because you testify that its deeds are evil Lord remind us of this when we see the things we see in our day the world cannot hate you but it hates me because I testify of it that its deeds are evil go up to the feast yourselves I do not go up to this feast because my time has not yet fully come so Lord give us insight to this because you say this and then you go up Lord what is the backstory to this give us revelation My 
time is not here yet But your time is always off Pretend the world cannot hate But it hates me Because I testify of it That its deeds are evil Because I testify of it That its deeds are evil Go up to the feast yourselves I do not go up Because my time has not yet fully come It's not my time yet He's still waiting For the moment of invasion it's not your time yet He's still waiting For the unveiling Of the Son of God Having said these things to them He stayed in Galilee but when his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he himself also went up, not publicly, but as if in secret. So the Jews were seeking him at the feast and were saying, where is he? There was much grumbling among the crowds concerning him. Some were saying, he is a good man. Others were saying, no, on the contrary, he leads the people astray. Yet no one was speaking openly of him for fear of the Jews. Where is he? He's a good man. No, on the contrary, he leads the people astray. Yet no one was speaking openly of him for fear of the Jews.
open their eyes, open our eyes to see the goodness of who you are. Open our eyes to see the goodness. Open our the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. Lord, I would have loved to have been there on that day to actually see you in your fleshly body, standing in the temple teaching. But when it was now the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews then were astonished, saying, how has this man become learned, having never been educated? So Lord, what do they call educated? How has this man become learned? They had no idea who you were, the very fulfillment of the law and the prophets, standing before them teaching, the Son of God, Son of Man. They were astonished. So Jesus answered them and said, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. If anyone is willing to do his will, he will know of the teaching, whether it is of God or whether I speak from myself. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory, but he who is seeking the glory of the one who sent him, he is true, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you carries out the law. Why do you seek to kill me? My teaching is not mine. you say that day that astonished them? They were astonished. Would you astonish us even this morning, Lord? Your words are truth and life.
Moses give you the law and yet none of you carries out the law? Why do you seek to kill me? The crowd answered, you have a demon. Who seeks to kill you? Lord, that's almost hard to read. I can't imagine people saying this to you. Sinless son of man, son of God, our savior, Lord. You have a demon who seeks to kill you. Jesus answered them, I did one deed and you all marvel. And Lord, we remember you healed the man at the pool of Bethesda on a Sabbath. I did one deed and you all marvel. For this reason, Moses has given you circumcision, not because it is from Moses, but from the fathers. And on the Sabbath, you circumcise a man. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, so that the law of Moses will not be broken, are you angry with me because I made an entire man well on the Sabbath? Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. Are you angry? Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. I did one deed and you all marvel. Lord, will you align our spirit, our soul up with truth from your word? Lord, would you give us the ability to judge with righteous judgment and not according to what our eyes see or what we think we know. Help us, Lord.
Lord, give us your heart to heal. We won't be judging by the outside. He says, stop judging based on the superficial. First, you must embrace the standards of mercy, the standards of truth. triumphs over judgment mercy triumphs over judgment mercy triumphs over judgment your mercy triumphs over judgment
sing of your love And oh, I feel like dancing hey, It's foolishness, I know But when the world is seen the It's foolishness, I know But when the world is seen the light They will dance with joy Like we're dancing now I could sing of your could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love over the mountains over the mountains and the sea your river runs with love for me and I The healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth And I will daily lift my hands For I will always sing Of when your love came down I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love. And oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness. I See the light, they will dance with joy like we're dancing now. And oh, I feel like dancing. Oh, it's foolishness, I know. But when the world is seen. What freedom in your presence, what joy to be yours. What freedom in your presence, what joy to be yours. There's such freedom in your presence, such joy to be yours. What a joy to be your people Sing, I could sing one more time And I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever.
back to you, Lord, how it just ushers in your presence and releases true worship from our spirits. Thank you again, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your word. I thank you for you. I thank you that just spending a little bit of time in your word just opens us up to receive from you. So, Lord, I thank you that you're here Thank you that we can go home and we can sit in a room by ourselves and we can open up your word and we can encounter you and you'll meet us whenever we do this. Lord, I thank you how it truly stirs up a desire to worship you when we see you through your word, when we feel your presence. Thank you, God. We love you with all of our heart, soul, strength, and mind. God, you're good. You're worthy. You are truth. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We love you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> 